So today we're mixing science and ice cream. It's really easy. All you need is a little bit of dry ice and a KitchenAid mixer. We're gonna make root beer float ice cream. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start first by making the base of the ice cream. So here we have heavy cream. Then we're gonna take the vanilla beans and add them to it. But first we're gonna cut them in half so all the flavor gets released. You're gonna split the beans right down the middle. You can even scrape it a little bit. Just put that right in there. I'm gonna put just one cup of sugar in here and save the rest for the anglaise. I'm gonna stir to incorporate and let that warm up. You want it warm and not hot, and you'll see why in just a moment. Add the rest of the sugar to the eggs. Milk. And three cups of root beer, which is about two bottles. I love root beer. I love root beer. This recipe is great because a root beer float, you know, it's using vanilla ice cream and then you pour root beer over it. But this has it all in the ice cream. So you're gonna have the carbonation in the ice cream, root beer flavor, the vanilla, everything. So when the cream heats up and you slowly add your eggs and you whisk the eggs with the cream, it thickens it and that's what creates that sauce and that's what creates that really creamy texture that you know and love in ice cream. So the cream is now hot to the touch, which is the perfect temperature to pour in your egg mixture. It's gonna add a touch of salt to this. Salt brings out flavors, even in desserts. So it's very important to constantly whisk it while you're cooking this on glaze, because if not, the eggs will just turn to scrambled eggs, essentially. And it'll be left with a chunky sauce instead of a velvety smooth one. So you want to stir this for about five to eight minutes until the sauce starts to thicken up. All right, so now the anglaise looks ready. As you can see, it's thick, it's nice. And the real test is the nappe test. If it coats the back of the spoon, you're able to swipe through the middle of it, and it's ready to go. So now we're gonna strain. It's very important to chill this immediately after you strain it so the eggs don't curdle. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then work on the dry ice. We're gonna use dry ice for this next part. Now dry ice is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really, really cold, so you wanna be careful when you use it. It's pretty much solid carbon dioxide, and that's why it leaves that fizzy taste, fizzy texture in the ice cream, which is perfect for soda ice creams. If you hold this too long, it'll burn you, so don't do this at home. <laughs> Use gloves when handling dry ice. So I'm putting it in this bag so I can beat it into smaller pieces so it's easier to handle, and it can chop up in the food processor. So now that it's into smaller pieces and it's easier to work with, I can put this into the food processor. It's pretty much at a powder state now, but I wanna get rid of all these tiny chunks. So dry ice comes in five pound blocks, and you can get it at your supermarket or an ice purveyor. You can go and just ask for a small five pound block and that should be plenty of dry ice for this recipe. So now you can put it in your bowl. And it looks like it's still in chunks, but it's not, it's powder. All right, so now that the anglaise is cold and we have our dry ice powder, we're ready to make our ice cream. So I'm gonna add about half of this. This is about a quart. And you wanna add a little bit of this at a time. You wanna put this on the second lowest setting. If you add too much of this, it'll bubble up from the CO2 and you'll have a huge mess. It's kind of like a science project and I love to do this with my niece. It's great to do with kids. We want it to be the consistency of ice cream. We want to go a little bit more. All right. Now you have perfectly churned ice cream. Just tap this to get all the ice cream out of it. So I like to prime my glass with a little bit of the dry ice so the ice cream stays colder. So the glass is nice and ice cold. And here you have 
root beer float ice cream. It's so good and it's so easy. Mm. Cheers to science.